Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Over to You by Roald Dahl. So this is essentially 10 short stories that Dahl wrote that are set during the war, and they're kind of based on his experiences, but they're not, they're still fiction, if that makes sense. So I'm going to read you the blurb here. 10 terrifying glimpses into the nightmare of life as a wartime fighter pilot. Roald Dahl was badly wounded in Libya during the war, but he went on to serve in the RAF in Greece and Syria. In these spine-tingling tales of battles in the sky and in the psyche, he draws on his own experiences and those of his friends and colleagues to convey the bizarre reality of a pilot's existence. From the nervy jollity of life in the ops room and the mess in death of an old man to the nightmarish horror of being shot down in a piece of cake or the infectious madness of war in someone like you, these stories capture with chilling clarity the experience of living with a daily possibility of extinction. So I think I've actually read someone like you. Uh, the stories here are A Death of an Old Man, An African Story, A Piece of Cake, Madame Rosette, Katina, Yesterday Was Beautiful, They Shall Not Grow Old, Beware of the Dog, Only This and Someone Like You. So really my thoughts on this collection are that Dahl's better when he's writing non-fiction about the war, you know? I really like his like war memoirs and that sort of thing, but when he's writing fiction, it's, I just for some reason don't find it as interesting. Like... I think in here there were uh, air battles happening and I was just bored and it's like you shouldn't be bored during an air battle. There was also one that had quite a lot of like spiritualism and I guess what you would call these days magical realism in, which I guess is fine and even, you know, coming from Roald Dahl could be kind of cool but it's like I don't want that in a war story, you know? But anyway, I'm going to go through and check some of my flags. We have right at the start here this disclaimer. I do not refer to anyone in particular in these stories. The names are not the names of pilots I have known, nor does the use of the personal pronoun necessarily mean that I'm referring to myself. So take that to mean as you will. They could still be true, and he could just be working within those guidelines. I thought this bit was interesting in Death of an Old Man, so he's saying... I'm the only one that's going to get killed. I don't want to die. Oh God, I don't want to die. I don't want to die today, anyway. And it isn't the pain. Really, it isn't the pain. I don't mind having my leg mashed or my arm burnt off. I swear to you that I don't mind that. But I don't want to die. Four years ago, I didn't mind. I remember distinctly not minding about it four years ago. I didn't mind about it three years ago either. It was all fine and exciting. It always is when it looks as though you may be going to lose, as it did then. It is always fine to fight when you're going to lose everything anyway, and that was how it was four years ago. But now we're going to win. It is so different when you're going to win. If I die now, I lose 50 years of life, and I don't want to lose that. I'll lose anything except that because that would be all the things I want to do and all the things I want to see. All the things like going on sleeping with Joey, which I'm not sure what that bit was about there. But So we have an African story here and I want to read uh, this paragraph about this, this young man who's a pilot. After five weeks, he nearly got court martialed because he took his plane up and instead of practicing spins and stall turns as he had been ordered to do, he flew off in the direction of Nakuru to look at the wild animals on the plane. On the way, he thought he saw a sable antelope, and because these are rare animals, he became excited and flew down low to get a better view. He was looking down at the antelope out of the left side of the cockpit, and because of this, he did not see the giraffe on the other side. The leading edge of the starboard wing struck the neck of the giraffe just below the head and cut clean through it. He was flying as low as that. There was damage to the wing, but he managed to get back to Nairobi, and as I said, he was nearly court-martialed. Because you cannot explain away a thing like that by saying you hit a large bird, not when there are pieces of giraffe skin and giraffe hair sticking to the wings and the stays. We do have some racism in this, which I can... Uh, we, well, basically, Dahl is one of like, the old school, you know? And he, I think it's best summarised by this quote. We've got to find out why the jippies like fat woman. And then we have this exchange I really liked in Beware of the Dog. I've lost a leg, he said. That's nothing. We'll get you another one. So yeah, all in all, it was okay. It's definitely not what you're used to if you've read like Roald Dahl's children's books. This is very much stories for adults. And again, they're very heavy on the war themes. So unless you're particularly interested in the war, you're probably not going to like them. I thought they were okay. I gave this a 3.25 out of 5. It's probably a little bit substandard for a short story collection in my opinion. But it was alright and I'm glad that I've read it because I, I want to slowly work through everything that he wrote. And that includes this. So there we have it, that's what I thought of Over To You by Roald Dahl. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read this book and if so, what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.